going on guys today i'll be sharing with you how you can use your mobile phone either android or iphone or any mobile phone as a webcam for your skype videos for your screen videos and for anything that you would use uh, webcam so i will show you how you can use your android phone as a webcam a very pretty and easy steps so for this we are going to be using an application called droid cam so what you just need to do is on your mobile phone you go to play store if you are using android phone and search droid cam d r o o i d c a m once you search it you will see the app just click install the app on your mobile phone there is also a paid version but for this video we will be using the free app the free app can actually um, do what we want it to do for us but if you want an extra functions you can also go for the paid version of the app so once you, you have installed the application then you have to download the client version for Windows or for Mac depending on the system you are using. So in the description of this video, I'm going to drop the client version for Windows so you can download it and install it on your system. So when you download it and install it, you will see the icon here. Now here is the icon. So what you just need to do is double click on it and open it. So once you open it, you're going to see three options here. Usually when you open it, you will see default the IP address as 0.0.0. .0, .0. So you can see option connect over Wi-Fi. Then the second option is to connect over USB. And the third option is to create Wi-Fi server. So, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using the first option, which is to connect over Wi-Fi, which most likely every mobile phone has a Wi-Fi uh, function, functionality. So here you can see the port is default. You may not need to change anything on the, on the port. Then the video that is to show your phone camera as your webcam. Then the audio. If you want to use the phone as your audio, you can select it. But if not, if you have a mic connected to your laptop. There will not be need for you to select this option so you can leave it open so what you need to do is once you have launched this application now you go to your mobile phone and launch the application which i'm going to do right away so once you launch it then you can see the wi-fi ip is also at 0 0.000 Bird uh, Bird Camp port is 4747. So there are options here like um, you can go to settings. If you want to use your phone's camera, you can select the option here. Most likely it's usually not selected. If you want to use your camera microphone, you can select it. If not, so if you want to use the back camera, you leave it like this, but if you want to use your phone camera, select it, that's for the settings, so go back, and that's what you just need to do, then 
you check the phone IP address usually for Android phones the IP address is 192.168.43.1 which I have entered here if you want to find your phone IP address it's very simple what you need to do is on your mobile phone you can go to sender if you have Zender application installed on your phone, then you click on connect to PC. Now you click on scan. So once you click on scan, it will show you an IP HTTP 192.168.43.1. So depending on the country where you are watching from. So whatever IP that you have for your phone, that is what you have to enter. Yeah. So once you enter it, let's load our application again, our Android. So once you enter it and click start, you can see it has loaded it. So don't mind the background of where I'm recording from. So I can turn my video this way, or I can turn it this way, or turn it any way that I want. So it is now your phone, mobile phone is now serving as your webcam, your HD webcam. So you can see how pretty easy it is. So guys, that will be that for today. I hope this video is helpful. If you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. More tutorials on taking stuff will be coming your way and other um, updates and videos. You click the bell notification to get my videos whenever I release them. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.